Welcome to the 54th episode of Lalita Divya Rahasya Sahasra Nama Stotra. The Universal Mother, the unconditional, compassionate, the compassion, ocean of compassion, the unconditional cosmic energy source of Universal Mother, she will go out of the way and get biased to transform the individuals towards the saturation and, uh, and to transform them into the ambassadors so that they can transform many, many more individuals. So to accomplish this, to this extent, the Innocent Mother will go out of the way to exhibit her bias or partiality towards such individuals. So in the previous sloka, that's what we have uncovered. Bhakti Priya, Bhakti Kamya, Bhakti Vasya, Bhaya Paha. The, the Bhakti Yoga in which the Innocent Mother through Bhakti Priya, Bhakti Priya, she has exhibited the, the bias state to the individuals who are promoting the Bhakti, Bhakti Yoga, who are canvassing the Bhakti. And then, since she is biased to these individuals, they have been transformed to the saturation through bhakti gamya bhakti priya bhakti bhakti gamya and then through bhakti vasya she gets surrendered to them because she knows the the significant role these individuals can play the super soul gets surrendered to such people bhakti vasya Bhayapaha and then transforms them into fearless state. That's that is bhakti yoga. So let us move on. So this uh, bhakti priya, bhakti gamya, bhakti vasya, bhayapaha is the second instance where the the four namas in one sloka. Uh, so hence all the four faculties have given. I have received the training. The first instance was Kulangana Kulantasta Kaulini Kulayogini. So let us move on. The next Nama is Sambhavi. So this is end of uh, this is end of Bhakti Yoga. So after reaching the fearless state of Bhakti Yoga they transform the individuals are transformed into real estate. So meaning they are beyond illusion now. So they can play a significant role in this in establishing the order in the universe. So Sambhavi uh, refers to the fearless uh, state of karma charana or action after getting saturated in bhakti yoga and through this sambhavi there is a there is a posture or the it is known as mudra mudra is a is a particular form of locking mechanism uh, through the fingers so once that locking mechanism is put in place there is that particular energy that uh, the body receives that is called mudra so through sambhavi the sarabha uh, sarabha uh, energy enters into the those uh, those individuals who are who are fearless sarabha is uh, um, it is it is uh, it is a form it is described in Hindu mythology. It uh, also finds its place place in other 
uh, other scriptures uh, in Buddhism, etc. Uh, Sarabha is essentially it is um, it's a mixture of half lion and half uh, bird um, believed to fly across valleys um, and uh, it's a it's a posture that reflects a fearless state so through sambhavi the sarabha the energy uh, state of sarabha is enters into this those individuals who are fearless Um, so through this Sarabha um, characteristic or Sarabha form manifestation, the, the universal mother enters into those individuals. So there is another, um, another angle to this Nama is uh, those who are in, those who are in Samsara Yoga, um, been transformed um, into yogam. Um, they have been transformed into fearless state, and uh, in this fearless state, they are acting like a sharabha. The, their their karma jana action is uh, taking place in a fearless state of like like sharabha. So through this nama sambhavi uh, nama, the it it. Uh, it completes the, it terminates the Bhakti Yoga. Uh, so the next, um, uh, so the complete, after completion of this Bhakti Yoga, the Universal Mother has entered into these individuals through Sarabha Mudra, uh, the locking mechanism. And uh, so since the Universal Mother has manifested in these individuals, the Vidya Yoga starts with uh, uh, Sambhavi. So the those individuals who are behaving beast-like, not uh, getting accommodated in, in any of the divisions that uh, Universal Mother has made, neither in the Kula Yoga, that is uh, the sect and uh, families, not in the Akula Yoga. Uh, so they have been subjected to, they are not uh, uh, part of para, apara, para, 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 and apara, para, para. So they have been genetically transformed and, uh, uh, and hence these three Nots or three Grandis have been originated and they have subjected to the Kundalini activation and, uh, and then these individuals who are the surface to uh, they have drifted away to the maximum extent they have been transformed into Samsara Yoga the common nourishment um, that uh, happens and uh, through Samsara Yoga they have been transformed to Bhakti Yoga and the completion of the Bhakti Yoga the, the Sambhavi Mudra has entered into these individuals so that is they have been acting now, now like a fearless uh, Saravas so that is about uh, Sambhavi the next Nama is Sarada Radhya. Sambhavi Sarada Radhya. So the saturated state of Sambhavi Mudra, the, the, the locking mechanism of Sambhavi when it is activated, when it is filled and saturated with Sambhavi energy, the external manifestation of the Sambhavi energy is called Sarada Aradhya. So, um, so, 
so in the bhakti in the bhakti yoga the 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 individuals are got saturated so they got um the sara sara means the extract sara is if it, if it is reversed it's called rasa rasa is finite uh, it is called juice um so sara is extract it is infinite it is abundant it is unlimited it is unconditional whereas rasa is limited it is it has a finite lifetime and it is uh, conditional so it has got a lifetime so uh, in the in the bhakti yoga when the people or the individuals are saturated so from sara they reach ati sara that is super saturation and uh, in that super saturation state they are fearless so when uh, so in this state the they have reached they have received the energy form of sambhavi through sambhavi mudra and uh, so when this is overfilling so when the atisaram is overfilling that is the the super saturated state is overfilling the the external exhibition of this state is sarada aradhya so what is happening here is this cycle that rasa sara atisara so in in the rasa then there is nirasa then apsarasa surasa nirasa apsarasa surasa rasa sara atisara so there are, this is a cycle so the apsarasa is uh, essentially the transformation of sara into into the into the apsarasa apsarasa is not an external physical form it is an internal um, exchange of uh, latency latent uh, hidden potential into um, into an external exhibition that is uh, into into a finite uh, finite dose that is called apsarasa so in this uh, uh, in this nama the the nourishment that the individuals have received previously in sambhavi that is been transformed in the form of apsarasa so this is like uh, um um this is this is like exhibition this is like external action so if we have to understand this concept uh, um, there is a simple example um uh, there are some fruits called gooseberry and uh, jamun fruits uh, one form of apricot it is it is blue in color dark blue in color so if one eats this uh, um one eats gooseberry or jamun fruit and then subsequently they drink water then uh, they can perceive they can feel that uh, the tongue has become the taste uh, buds of the tongue has transformed so that is this is similar to apsarasa so the sara the extracts of these fruits have been the the latency of these fruits have been transformed into rasa and then subsequently apsarasa and this apsarasa uh is been externally exhibited so this is uh, this is the essence of sarada aradhya the external manifestation of the sambhavi in a super saturated uh, state through apsarasa that is sarada aradhya so the next nama is uh, sarvani so in this state of uh, in this state of 
apsarasa that means ras, uh, latency transformed into the uh, into the apsarasa form and uh, the fearless state of chambhavi where the universal mother has entered into these individuals so they are they are subjected to the vidya yoga the so the end of bhakti yoga then they have been subjected to education the vidya yoga the learning phase learn learning the the teaching done by none other than the universal mother so in this state since they 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 know the transformation of the extract of the unconditional nourishment from the the nectar of unconditional nourishment from the universal mother and transforming that into into a limited uh, dose of apsarasa they know how to do this so these individuals get to know all the secrets in the universe through the teachings of teachings and preachings of the universal mother so they will know all the universal secrets and the universal mother will uh, uh, will provide them what is necessary for their growth the the education that is necessary for their growth and in this state the uh the practicing of these various scriptures in this state that is called sarvani so similar um a similar uh, uh similar uh, characteristic we have encountered in the previous in the in the nama that is suddha vidyam kurakar dijapankti dvayo jalavir the harmonics of the shodasha vidya 32 characteristics have been described through uh to the practicing of the musicology so the acoustics that emanate from the individuals who are um who are filled with the shodasha vidya um described in suddha vidyam kurakar dvipankti dvayo jala so similar thing is similar um similar thing is happening here in sarvani where um the the unconditional nourishment the sara is been transformed into apsarasa the super saturated state on the fearless state where the universal mother has manifested her energy in these individuals and uh, so if they choose to um uh, uh give concert they will be exhibiting 32 characteristics through suddha vidya ankura kara des pankti dvayo jala they will know all the nitigritis the all the 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 fineness of the musicology the uh the the science behind uh the music if they choose to mu- choose to pursue the music so similarly other uh, subjects so that is uh, uh, so they will get to know all the secrets the hidden secrets of the the chosen uh, fields chosen by whom chosen by their souls and uh, since they chose souls have chosen uh, some of these tastes uh that is that will uh, help not only themselves towards saturation but also through this uh, profession they are going to transform many more individuals so the innocent mother has uh, exhibited by us to these individuals quickly transform them into um into saturated state in bhakti yoga and then she will provide the necessary training to them that is sarvani um so there are many examples uh, to this uh, uh to this nama the the prime example is uh, swamitra 
Viswamitra, it is believed that Viswamitra has uh, had uh, some interaction with Menaka, the Apsarasa, but it is not a physical form. So, what has happened is when he was doing the tapasya, so the unconditional nourishment that he got, received, he has been transformed into the latency, the hidden potential of the latency transformed into Apsarasa. And uh, in that state of fearlessness, uh, Viswamitra was blessed with a lot of original um, content ideas of the universe, of the secrets of the universe. Um, so in the same state, he has um, he unleashes the Gayatri Mantra. Nobody has given him a discourse or upadesha to Swamitra about Gayatri Mantra. So he was the originator himself just by uh, looking at the nature he got. Uh, he was prompted with this Gayatri Mantra. So uh, he got direct connection with the Universal Mother. Uh, so the Universal Mother has taught him the Gayatri Mantra. In other words, not only that, the the astras that Viswamitra possesses, the weaponry, the armory that Viswamitra possesses, the secrets of uh, the weapons, the launching of the weapons that Viswamitra knows, nobody in the universe knows so many secrets about the armory and the weapon system in this universe. So all this is the education that he received in through Sarvani. So that's about Sarvani. Um, so the next Nama is Sarmadaini. So this is the saturated state of Sarvani. So Sambhavi, when it is saturated, it is result in Sambhavi Sarada Rajya, so where the, the education phase is initiated and uh, Sarmadaini uh, Sambhavi Sarada Rajya, when it is uh, uh, saturated, it results in Sarvani. Sarvani, when it is saturated, it results in Sarmadaini. So, in this state, saturated state of Apsarasa, the educational phase. So all the all the secrets um, in pertaining to the the subject chosen subjects, they have gotten and they are completely saturated. These individuals in this in their fields chosen fields. So now they are exhibiting, they are practicing this. So this is Samadhan is a practicing phase of after completion of the education. So through Sarmadayani they are, they are practicing the, the, the learning that they have received, the teachings that they have received in Sarvani. Uh, so again uh, the uh, Viswamitra uh, has, has applied whatever he has learned through Sarvani whatever he has acquired through Sarvani, he has applied it in his real life. He has, he has uh, uh, donated unconditionally all his uh, armory, the secrets of the armory, the weaponry system that he uh, knew, uh, he was preached by the Universal Mother. All that has been uh, transferred to uh, Rama and Lakshmana. In, uh, in Balakanda of uh, Valmiki Ramayana. So, through Sarmadayani, this is the application phase of the learning that uh, the individuals who are fearless and filled with uh, Apsarasa state and uh, uh, prior to that uh, received the the energy in the Sambhavi Mudra. Now they have been they have been 
preached with uh, by none other than you know sir mother to so sarwan the preaching the preachings of the you know sir mother have been put into practice through sarmadayini so this is a this uh, this is educational phase after the bhakti yoga the educational phase that is related to uh establishing the universal order it's not the uh the physical world education that uh, we are familiar with like uh, pursuing bachelor's pursuing master's pursuing phd is not that it is the the pursuing of uh, the subject um, that will restore the order in the universe or the contributes towards the restoration of order in the universe Uh, so it may not have any relevance to the physical education but it is it is much more than that because it has uh, it has a direct relevance to establishing the order in the universe so in the physical world these individuals may appear like fools um like um, like uneducated uh dumb dumb uh, uh, people but uh, their their contribution is immense because they what they knew the the secrets of the hidden secrets of the universe in their chosen field for instance if they chose to be in the music while well, uh, giving concerts or playing instruments through that they will know all the secrets um of uh, how to control the the dynamics or the let's say acoustics or whatever it is how to come out with the original compositions etc etc all these are the hidden secrets um so similarly those who are those who pursue let's say writing um so they will know the hidden secrets of the the universe so they receive this education through sarvani and they start applying this re- um, education towards not for their personal glory or personal benefit towards restoration of the order in the universe through sarmadayani so this is the educational phase sambhavi sarada rajya sarvani sarmadayani after the bhakti yoga so through sambhavi the the fearless state indicates the fa- training to the faculty of intellect in the sarada aradhya that is where the 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 educa- the transformation that is happened from uh, uh, the extract the sara to atisara and the preparation for the through sarada aradhya through sambhavi the 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 energy manifestation of sambhavi mudra in the fearless state has been initiated and the end of bhakti yoga has happened indicating the training to the faculty of intellect sarada radya is the preparation to the educational phase so faculty of discretion this is the training sarvani is the educational phase the learning phase so the faculty of personality receives the training sarmadayini is the application or the implementation or the action that is being performed so faculty of mind receives the training so that is sambhavi sarada aradhya sarvani sarmadayini this is the third instance where all the four faculties have received the training the first one is kulangana kulantasta kaulini kulayogini the second one is bhakti priya bhakti gamya bhakti vasya bhaya apah this is the third one sambhavi sarada aradhya sarvani sarmadayini so there is slowly the evolution is taking place um so this evolution is happening where um exact uh, which uh, which world it is all that uh, the details we will uncover that much later but right now this uh, is to be reminded that this has happened in the planet mars 
it does not happen in, on uh, on planet earth so when this uh, these events have happened sambhavi sardara jasarvani samudayini or bhakti priya bhakti gamya bhakti usya bhaya paha when these events have happened earth was not even formed so this was we are talking about a time scale of billions of years ago much before the the formation of this current universe or the the big bang that has happened so this uh, uh refers to the previous universe and the that uh, happened in, in the planet mars so that's about this uh, shloka on the the remaining namas and shlokas we will explore in the next episode thank you